welcome back. My name is Karen Young from the MVP Award Program and I'm here in the Community Lounge talking to Oliver. Tell everybody who you are and where you're from and what MVP expertise you're in. Yeah, sure. I, Karen, thanks for having me here. Uh, well, yeah, my name is Oliver Sommer. I'm from Germany and there, when I try, when I'm laughing, by the way, that's because some folks outside making jokes of us. So, and I'm an MVP of uh, Essential Business Server and um, my community uh, I'm driving is kind of the uh, German SBS small business server uh, related uh, community and uh, the quite new essential business server uh, product uh, community and so I drive a couple of websites uh, Do you for want to mention some of those websites? Oh yeah, well, that's that's uh, at first it's the uh, sbsfaq.de. Uh, sorry for laughing; it's the uh, guys outside. So and uh, it's uh, the ebsfaq.com website and also essentialbusinessserver.com is the same sort. I managed for some strange reason I managed to get the product name, all domains related to the product name because you know I, I I've, for some reason I've been first. And so I picked essentialbusinessserver.com, net, org, info, eu, de, and whatever. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I do, and it's it's community related. And uh, on the on the community support side, I'm uh, kind of old-fashionedly stuck to the NNTP news groups by now. Um, uh, and uh, I'm kind of curious what will come with the forums. And I know you drive those firms technology very very fast and um, yeah that's that's pretty much it and so that's some of your community stuff and that's that's where people can find discussions and content and yeah. things like that yeah. to help them use uh, the product more but what are you doing here at TechEd? Oh, here at TechEd I'm uh, I'm uh, as the uh, as one of the Ask the Experts uh, booths Boost stuff, boost babes. Whatever it's You're called. a boost babe. Yeah, I've Fantastic. been. Yeah, I've been told I've I've got a. I'm, I'm my official role is going to be a booth babe. So um, and I'm doing that for the Essential Business Server booth. So uh, we are in that uh, booth in that corner where EBS is, is the main topic and where people pass by and uh, are having all all sorts of different questions on different levels like you know some some don't know the product at all and uh, we explain them in basics uh, on the basics of the product and uh, some have some advanced uh, questions and um, technical wise or some have licensing questions and stuff and we try to 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 help them to to uh, either we know the right question or we try to help them to to get into the the right direction to get the questions being answered and um, yeah it's pretty pretty well by now I feel we have uh, pretty pretty many people uh, getting into uh, getting uh, into interest uh, getting interested in our product um, and it's yeah it, that's good because EBS is still a new product and still on its on its run to be knowledge by people and partners and community so well, it's great to have you here and many other of the RC experts in the TLC, uh, the Technical Learning Center. Um, great to see so many people coming and feeling that they can ask people like yourself that are real, real world users with great experience of the product. You know, yeah. some of their hints and tips and sharing those yeah. together with. And them. that's also for me. It's the main point of coming to Tech Ed. It's not so much about the sessions and the technical content. Or but it, for me, it's most of the time. It's the most valuable thing here is is getting ne the networking in between the communities and the between Microsoft folks and and us and uh, other community members for com networking with partners and sponsors ar around here. Uh, that, that for me that is the ticket experience. Um, sure, there's also those technical sessions and you can pick what you want to and what you are interested in. But the main purpose is not so much about the sessions. It's it's for me it's community and meeting all those people that one like you we meet like every three four times a year and it's always at those events and uh, it's always an enjoyable experience to have all of you folks around and having once once that week having a party with all, all of us together so well it's good. good to see you too and so a couple of things um, finally before we finish number one how did you get into IT 
Oh, oh how do I get in? It's an interesting question. Well, that's been uh, um, no, that's been in into IT. We got in uh, about. I got about. What was it now? About 15 years ago, something when around that age where it's been a few years prior to the internet started so um, I'm not that internet driven just a little bit prior to that and we started uh, by by uh, by gaming actually by those you know those weird uh, action shooter games like Doom and all those games that the first actually the first games that required networking to be in place to be able to uh, compete against each others and so we, we we had our computers that we used for just for gaming and having fun prior to that and we then had like you know this advanced games where we needed to build some networks to get into uh, the gaming uh, experience for those networking games and we we spent like weekends and, and holiday weeks uh, gaming on, on Doom 1, Doom 2 and all those network games and so um, then once we decided well okay we, we seem to be pretty good at it because you know people get to us asking us how to set up their gaming network for their gaming sessions and so then So you're sharing information at a very very young age <laughs> Right, so <laughs> Be a good community Yeah, member. that's that always, it's like I, I've, I have never had the feeling that information is uh, something or knowledge is something you got to keep for yourself um, because uh, it's it, it's uh, it's the, the valuable thing is to, to share information with others and to gain information from them. And um, I have always uh, be, uh, as o have always tried to share information where where it's needed. Sure, there is some points where you don't want to share information with someone, but at the end of the day, I'm I'm um, more likely to share information anyhow with with whomever, uh, with even with partners that live next door to me. I don't have a problem with telling them how to fix some whatever problem and yeah that's at the end starting IT has has been like uh, like that in, in the gaming session and then I started to study uh, and, uh, and I, I, I started to study uh, the teacher um, studies for for IT and, and physics and chemistry and uh, then I gained a bus I opened a business with a couple of friends of mine and uh, then I de decided that one, one day I decided that becoming a teacher is maybe not that worthwhile but driving the business beyond that uh, student business would be um, more or less maybe the better idea and so I continued with that and then Microsoft someday came, became knowledge of me and made me an MVP and since then business uh, pretty much now, not exploded, but uh, drove way way better, and I got knowledge in, in in speakership and and you know being being training Microsoft partners and stuff that kind of helped me a lot being an MVP, and I'm very thankful for that. Thank you. Well, um, thank you because you actually helped lots of people in the community yeah, understand our products and get you know a lot out of the products. So it's actually all we do is recognize and thank you. Last so question: Why do you love IT? Oh, uh, I love IT because um, it's it's a new challenge every day, and it's it, that that's what it what what, what keeps it interesting. Because uh, there are s several other jobs where it seems to be like you know it's the same day after day again, and there's little movement. And IT is. Uh, the, the challenge in IT is that it's moving very fast in in contrast to other uh, jobs and, and so to really other professions. It's really dynamic. And, and on, uh, this is also this is a, this is a challenge in IT that you always have to kind of be uh, keep up, and you always have have to somehow like running and getting your knowledge. But um, still, I, that's that's why I love it. And it's but that makes it exciting as well. Yeah. Gives you a lot of opportunity. Yeah, that's what it is. And, and IT is a huge field. You know, IT is like from the de it's, it's developers and it's it's gamers. It's you know guys like me that are basically just doing infrastructure uh, stuff. Well, and, and it's it's all around. It's all yeah. home users. It's you know your right. mobile, it's, your yeah, TV, mobile your phones. Is I consider that you mentioned. And right. Yeah. You know, so IT is kind of ingrained in our lives. So yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah.